And welcome back and we're moving into our first segment of the morning and we've got in with us the delegates uh, of Miss Universe. Now, I tell you what, the pageant is coming up on August 25th. It's not this Saturday, but the next uh, following Saturday. And it's definitely something we are looking for. Now, this pageant is going to be exclusively on Channel 5. That's right. And of course, uh, we'll be chit-chatting with these girls and we'll be finding out exactly what the process is like leading up to uh, August uh, 25th. Now, we've got here, let me see, let me, and I need to get these names correctly. Yeah. I need to get these names. We've got in with us Kelsey Tillett. Right, All right, there you go. Kelsey's yeah. right here. Nicole Hamilton. Oh, there we go. Uh, Kaya Pastor. Yeah. Kia. Oh, my goodness. See, there we go. And, of course, Shante Morgan. Hi, Shante. We also have uh, Alicia Banner. In. All right, so we, we were missing her out. Mm. Uh, Jessica Flores. Crystalline Castillo, Selena Urias, Janelli Fraser, and Ashley Reed. Mm -hmm. Ladies, good morning and welcome. Morning. <laughs> First of all, you guys are looking lovely with this yellow. Yes. You're so poised and I like it. Mm. I love it. Let's find out what the process is like so far since uh, you decided, you know, you know what, I want to be a part of this thing. What is it like for you this far? From the beginning, well, from last year, I wanted to compete in this pageant. I was hoping there was a pageant last year. Um, I'm, I'm really enjoying the process of it. Everything I'm enjoying, meeting these ladies um, from the beginning. I met them. I fell in love with their personalities and their unique styles. And they're all beautiful, as you can see. Beautiful inside and out. And I'm really enjoying the experience. And I would do it all over again if I have to. Sweet. <laughs> I like that. Let's, let's, let's get somebody on this end. Yeah, mm -hmm. Ashley. Well, so far, the whole entire experience has been amazing. Like Shante said, like all the girls, they are unbelievably like so genuine. And we get along, we get along so well mm -hmm. on, in practices, on events and stuff like that. So it's been an amazing experience. And I would definitely, even though it's my first time, try something again like this. Sweet. So we met you when there was the first reveal, and uh, not even your family, some of your family and friends knew. They just <laughs> saw you on TV like, wow, you're doing Miss Universe to me. Are serious? So you've had some time now to adjust into the role, uh, being recognized as one of the delegates. Tell me about what the experience has been like um, marketing yourself and preparing yourself for this particular role. So let's have somebody on this side start. Yeah. For me, it's been pretty easy because at the end of the day, only me, I, I'm the only person who knows myself. And so what I need to do is to show Belize who I am. So it's been pretty easy. Mm -hmm. What I need to do is to respect myself and keep poised. And so when Belize sees us, they know that we are respectful girls. We have education and we are ready to represent well, I've been working diligently in every aspect of training, from my walk to the way I speak, presenting myself in public. Mm -hmm. It's really been a fun journey, but I've, out of all of it, I've enjoyed the photo shoots and networking with different businesses. Yeah. And I'm so thankful to my sponsors and to everyone that has been supporting me on social media. Thank you so much for believing in me. Yeah. What has been the support, what, what has the support been like so far? Well, I must say that the support has really exceeded my expectations. Mm -hmm. Maybe at first, yes, we have a little fear as to what the journey may bring. Mm -hmm. But I must say that personally, I've had a lot of support. And I think the whole organization itself, I've seen the girls having that support as well, which I'm very thankful for. I want to thank my team. If it wasn't for my team, I couldn't do this. All right. Yeah. And for you, the support? The support has been overwhelming, unexpected as well. I'm a person that if I want something, I usually go for it. I, I don't wait for others to come and say, I'll help you do this, I'll help you do that. Yeah. And the support just came from all corners, mm -hmm. and I'm more than thankful and appreciative of everyone who reached out to me, everyone who just stopped me, gave me a compliment, everyone who gave me critiques, tips. Yeah. I'm more than thankful to you guys. And I'll make you proud. I'll make myself proud as well. Oh, wow. 
So for any one of you, what are you looking forward to the most for August 25th? Um, for me, I'm definitely looking forward to grace the stage. I have some characteristics, personality, traits of mine that will really be showing on that stage. Each one of these girls have been working hard and I know that there are certain things that we don't see in practice, you know, hidden agendas. <laughs> So I am, I am definitely looking forward to what each and every one of us has to bring in terms of the style, our personality, our charisma. I'm also looking forward to my fans because I have fans that will be coming. I've done pageants before and at my previous pageant, my fans were all there in my fan t-shirt and I'm definitely looking forward to the support and to be there. The stage, just I just enjoy myself while I'm on the stage and it's the happiness that comes along with it that I'm really looking forward to. Beautiful. Yeah. Excellent. Yes. Well, for me, the support has been great as well from everyone in social media, my family, my friends, even these girls. We like support each other and we help motivate each other in every kind of way. I'm excited for the pageant for the evening gong. Ooh. I would love to see how graceful and beautiful all these girls look as well as myself. So I'm excited for it. It is my first pageant, but overall the experience has been great and mm -hmm. I'm just looking forward to learn more and just step out of my comfort zone a bit more as well. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. So I want to find out, you know, you have to collectively work hard to represent the organization well as a delegate of the Miss Universe Belize. But you also have to try to stand out on your own. You want to be the top contender mm -hmm. uh, when you go on stage August 25th. Tell me about what that's like. You, have, you obviously have a great friendship. But you also know this is a competition. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me. Mm -hmm. Yes, this is a competition. And standing out for me is not very difficult mm -hmm. because I am very unique. Mm -hmm. I have the curly hair. I'm very natural. Mm -hmm. And I can pose. <laughs> and I can walk. <laughs> so standing out is not hard for me to do. Yeah. And I do it very well. Excellent. Okay. For you? For me, it's really easy because I am very confident about myself. Yes, I love everyone on this platform. Mm -hmm. However, I am very confident and I feel that once you have that confidence in yourself and you know your worth, mm -hmm. it is easy for you to stand out. Nice. I am. So tell me, since like the it. announcement uh, of to the public that you're delegates for the, uh, for the pageant, I'm sure you've had some recognition. I'm sure you've had some little girls come and say, oh, Ooh. you're so pretty. Yeah. <laughs> Tell me about the f your favorite fan moment so far and what it means to you. Yeah. Anyone who wants to take it. Um, on Instagram, I have this, this supporter. She's from Australia. Wow. And she messages me often and she compares me to her favorite actress. Oh, wow. As well, and she likes that I'm very humble. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, and when, I comp when she compares me to the actress, we are so much alike, we're very petite. We have curly hair, and she loves that about me, and she's from a different race mm -hmm. from me, yes. And it's very supporting. Yeah. Excellent. Nice. All right, and for, yes, for you. Mm -hmm. For you? Anyone wants to yeah. Um, For me, um, this weekend, actually, we went to San Pedro, uh -huh. and there was this little boy, he, he noticed me and Kayla from far, and he asked us to take a picture, and when he holds us, he grabbed us tightly. Really? <laughs> he, he really held us, and yeah. it was very cute because I'm a fan of children. Yeah. Wow, so, that's yeah. lovely. That's lovely. Anybody else? Yes. So a couple people who I don't know have been sending me messages, and it's across Belize, from Belize City to Toledo. I had a, a guy recently sent me a message, and he said, I'm so proud of you. And what that does, it motivates me, because I am the face of Belize. I represent the people. And so when people send me messages, mm -hmm. it means that I'm doing something great, and it's exciting. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Let's jump on it. It's your segment. <laughs> <laughs> it is. Well, for me, it's been, like I said, it's been overwhelming before. But the fact that I never thought that, I know sometimes, yes, people are watching me, but I never thought that they were actually paying such fine details to my personality, mm -hmm. to me being in the public eye. 
I never thought I was a public figure to that extent. Mm -hmm. And people come up to me, hey, Melanin. A lot of people call me Melanin because <laughs> most people in Belize know whenever you say something about the black race, it's like it needs to be something positive if you're saying it around me. Yeah. yeah. I'm extremely proud of being black. So they'll be, hey, Melanin, I have you on Facebook. Girl, you're going to win this. And I'm like, yeah. okay, hi. It's like, I don't know your name, but you know what? Thank you. Hi. And they had this little girl. I'm used to being compared to a black doll. I've been hearing it from years back. Mm -hmm. And this little girl came up to me and she's like, Mommy, I want a black doll like this one. <laughs> so I stood there like, I know you can find one. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the Belizean black doll. And her mom is like, don't you know who that is? Um, she was on TV. I'm like, yes, honey, I'll be competing for Miss Universe. She's like, I want to do that. Mom, when can I do that? In yeah. um, approximately 12 more years, honey. <laughs> So the fact that they came, mm. she noticed me. And mm. when a child, you know children are really honest. Yeah. Yeah. So if she thought I was ugly or she didn't want to be like me, she would have pointed would have it out. Oh, yes. And for her to come out, call me beautiful, want to be like me and want to do what I'm doing, it's like I know I'm inspiring another generation to come up and do something positive mm. as well. Beautiful. I'm glad you touched beautiful. that because Janelle mentioned something that I think is important. There's a certain poise and grace that is expected of the delegate and also your public persona in general. Mm -hmm. um, how much or what did it take for you to come to the realization that putting yourself forward for this pageant meant that you would have to adopt everything that it uh, upholds? Actually, well, yes. Uh, in the beginning, I did mention that it would have been a challenge. There are certain things that you may have to change. I realized that now my, I've dedicated everything just to the pageant. People ask, do you even have time for yourself? Yeah. Uh, and how do you cope? I've said, I can say that time management has been a key thing in this pageant that I've had to learn because I've had to juggle work, family, including the pageant itself. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. Anybody else? Yeah. Being Miss Universe Belize isn't only about the crown. It's embodying something bigger, you know? So it's just a matter of how much you want it, how passionate you are. And it really hasn't been a, sh been a struggle adjusting to mm. this lifestyle because it's something that I want to do. It's something that I've been working so hard to do that it just comes so naturally. And it's honestly benefited me in many ways. So I have no complaints. Mm -hmm. You know, one of the things that stood out to me um, was when you mentioned that, you know, learning new things. And I will throw the question out. Is there anything that you've learned about yourself yeah. that you will take uh, along with you following this pageant? What I have learned about myself is that there's no limitations to what I can do. I used to limit myself a lot in how I act, walk, speak. And I have learned that I can be more than what I have envisioned myself to be. Yeah. My confidence mm -hmm. has grown so much during these past couple of months. And my walking, I just, like, I couldn't walk that well, to be honest. <laughs> and it really taught me how to walk more better and be more fem feminine, you would say. Yeah. Um, I really enjoy it and appreciate that a Beautiful. lot. What I have learned about myself is that I am worthy. I am worthy of anything and that humbleness can take you far. Mm -hmm. And you can do anything you set your mind to. Yeah. And I would like to share that with everybody else and encourage everybody. If you have something that you're really passionate about, you can do it. Doesn't matter how, but you can, as long as you're doing it in a positive way and not um, harming someone else. Yeah. yeah. I, I, want you, I want you to tell me about some of the unexpected lessons you've learned in this process. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I, I think anytime you undertake something, we have a particular perception of what it's going to be like. And then you get in and it's like, wow. And it could be positive or negative, but tell me some of the unexpected lessons you've learned so far. Um, I've learned that each pageant is different. Mm -hmm. I have been in pageants before, but things that I've done in previous pageant is definitely um, I need to work more on it because for Queen of the Bay was more graceful it was more laid Curtain. back Curtain. yes you yes. need 
the curtsy and all <laughs> that. But with this, I learned that, you know, you need to learn to do the catwalk and you need to put your personality in whatever you do. Mm -hmm. And even though it wasn't that difficult to do, it was definitely an eye opener for me that, you know, those that I had to uh, tweak little things here and there. And also walking out into the public, um, I knew people have seen me and they know me, but I didn't know that there's so many. So when I'll be walking out the street and they'll be like, Crystalline, or I'm known for because my dad is well known. So they'll be like, Jandata. <laughs> 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 and things like that. So now I know I have a wider fan base. And it, it, it warms my heart to know yeah. that people are looking to me. And then it also makes me realize that I need to raise the standard in whatever I do. Because yeah. if people are emulating the things I do, I need to make sure that it is worthy of being emulated. So Excellent. that's the two things I learned. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, I, I have learned that God does not like ugly. <laughs> so <laughs> I've really had to work on my character and controlling my anger and how to handle situations more maturely. And yeah. you really can't be a queen and be petty. So yeah. most of all, I've really learned how to be humble and how to have composure when being in public and when being online, especially on social media and yeah. dealing with negative comments. Wow, mm. I like that, honest. Mm -hmm. yeah. I like ugly. Huh? Um, most importantly, I believe that I've learned that this whole pageant itself mm -hmm. beats the misconception that it's only based on beauty. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It definitely takes much, especially um, learning yourself, knowing yourself, building yourself up, knowing to accept criticism from outside. You need to think on your feet, mm -hmm. you know? It definitely goes into the depths of your education mm -hmm. and, you know, inspiring everyone, trying to be yourself, just trying to be everything that is just, it's not only beauty. It's brains, yeah. and it's a platform that you can inspire and implement change. Yeah. So it definitely beats that it's not just beauty. Any other unexpected lessons? Go ahead. I've learned the fact that your individuality is what makes you stand out. You can't go around emulating anybody and everybody or mimicking this one and that one. You need to stay true to yourself if you want to stand out. Mm -hmm. if, you're, if you're staying true to yourself, it defines who you are as a person better than me trying to mimic someone else's behavior to gain funds or to gain support. If I stay true to myself, I inspire those who are a certain way and I inspire those who are like myself. So for me, it was easy in this essence that I'm always me, always me in every aspect. I show who I am from the get-go. Mm -hmm. So it's just keeping that personality that's true to myself and at the same time being respectful everywhere I go, biting my tongue when needs be. Mm -hmm. And also that's like that's the main thing that you need to learn because not everyone will be happy for you. Not everyone will have the best of stuff to say about you. But staying true to yourself and being respectful will help you along in any journey, especially this one where you're always in the public eye, even when you're not in the public eye. One of the things I learned most recently is to have an open mind. I was very guarded and I think over the weekend we, we had a trip to San Pedro and it really opened my eyes that we all have struggles and we all have a story and I appreciate, appreciate the girls for open, opening up to me and to all of us and it makes you appreciate the finer things in life and we can learn from, from everyone. And so we need to have an open mind and take constructive criticism. We can learn from anybody, from the youngest to the oldest. We just need to be very, very open. One of the things that we can say very clearly, and I'm sure for anyone who's watching at this time, we have 10 of the 11 delegates here with us. And if we would just take a look around this room, you're such a diverse group yes. of mm -hmm. women. But it's so representative of Belize. We have all shades of skin tones, features. It is absolutely beautiful. And one of the things Ashley said is how the, the 
uh, pageant itself goes beyond just beauty. But I recall your first interviews where mm -hmm. some of you specifically spoke about breaking the mold of what is a stereotypical beautiful woman. And actually, let me bring it over to you because you were very passionate about that. <laughs> that length of your hair yes. exact is, is one of the primary things. And I'm sure that's one of the first things people notice about yes, you. Yes, it is. Has anyone pressured you perhaps to get in extensions or to change how you look? No, actually, everyone has been very, very supportive of my hair because they think that it is very different, especially in the pageant world. Mm -hmm. yeah. So it's more of an encouragement because I have more people pushing me instead of bringing me down, yeah. especially about my hair. Yeah. So what, tell me about some of the responses you've gotten since people have seen you, and especially taking that on as a part of your own platform. Well, everyone knows that I don't really do stuff like this, yeah. coming out trying to be in front of so many people. But yeah. being that I am a business owner, I'm an entrepreneur, mm -hmm. I will have to interact because yeah. for a business you need to interact to you know, gain your, your customers. So I believe that this whole entire pageant itself would definitely be a way for me to yeah. interact with people that would be interested in me, not only me, but my business. Mm -hmm. yeah. And, and you can pass it down to Janelle, because reflecting as well, yeah. you also spoke. Yes. And you're not a big person. This is what <laughs> is the weird part about it, right? right? But you spoke of not being, again, the stereotypical size that people right. equate with a pageant. Right. So many of you may not know, but I, I was obviously bigger than this. And I had to lose over 20 pounds, not because I wanted people to accept me as a smaller person, mm -hmm. but I knew that I had to be healthy. Yeah. And when you become healthy, you choose a healthy lifestyle. Of course. Everything follows. Yeah. It means that you get smaller, toned, mentally, mm -hmm. physically, everything. And so for me, uh, I want to encourage people to simply be yourself. If you're big, right. you're small, you're tall, you're short, be true to yourself and yeah. don't let anybody tell you that you cannot do it. Yeah. So that, that's been my motivation. Again, not to, to lose weight, but to live healthier. Absolutely. Excellent. One of the things, uh, before we go, because I know we're, we're pressed for time, but one of the things I wanted to, uh, to, to get on is the fact that uh, all of you here, all of you are poised and you're ready for this day. Now, do you think that things would have been different for you? If it wasn't uh, with the, without the guy or with the, without the guidance of Romeo, he comes from an international background. He's been doing this. So, what, what, tell me about that. What is it like for you working along with uh, with that knowledge? Um, definitely, Mr. Romeo has been in our corner from day one. Ever since we were recruited for the pageant, he was there. And if there's something that we don't know or we're not sure of, we can definitely go to him and then he'll give us ad advice or whatever. But even if we don't go to him, it's just the security to know that we have someone in our corner. We have someone that will look out for us like our parents would. Because when we're out here, we don't have family that is following us everywhere or is with us everywhere. But because he is right here, we feel the sense of comfort that we don't have to worry about anything in terms of personal problems and in terms of the um, preparation for the pageant. We know that we have someone to be there for us. Yeah. Well, Romeo has been really um, there for us in every single way, mm -hmm. apart from just when it comes to the pageant. What I really appreciate about him is that he stated that if you don't really know something or you're not comfortable with anything, you could always come to him, like Crystalline stated. But for me, I don't have a trainer. I've never done a pageant. I don't have a coach. So I had a lot of questions. I had a lot of, um, not really negative thoughts, but doubts. Mm -hmm. But he was able to clarify those for me because he made it so um, comfortable to the point that you could come to him and just be honest with him and you know he will help you in regards of everything so I'm really appreciated of that that he's very understanding that everyone has a different situation and that we're able to work together and be here like today yeah. Go ahead. What, I love, what I appreciate about Mr. Romeo is that when he's not here he has people that would take us in and train us, 
um, practice with us, and I'm really appreciative of that because then he takes the time and he pick the right person. Yeah. So he trusts those people, and when we see them, we trust them as well yeah. with the pageant and the practicing and everything. So I'm real, I'm very appreciative of that. You know, ladies, if I'm only to reflect, uh, you know, what is it like two months now since your last appearance, I can see <laughs> tremendous growth. <laughs> Uh, in all of you and, mm -hmm. and congratulations because that's hard work it takes dedication to work on yourself and I think for all our viewers who tune in then and tune in now you definitely look like very confident women mm -hmm. a part of pageants and I and I you know interviewing the previous Miss Universe Belize Rebecca Rath she spoke of the journey of developing her own confidence as well what can you pass on? You know, this is a very empowering moment individually for you, but you're also inspiring others when you speak of your story. What would you tell other women about how to move their own self-esteem to a place where they can exude the type of confidence that you're showing us this morning? Well, I believe it's all about being yourself. Mm -hmm. Don't be, don't try to be nobody else because there's only one you. When you learn to be yourself, be comfortable in being who you are, you will develop a confidence that nobody can take away or diminish. That's yeah. what I believe confidence really derives from, from yeah. being yourself. And just loving yourself. Love yourself first and then you can love others yeah. better. Okay, well, for me, this pageant has been a training ground. We all have probably insecurities. I myself had insecurities before going into this pageant. And many ask, why have you decided to do pageants? And it's because of those same insecurities. I wanted to break those walls. And today, I encourage women to go beyond their expectations as well, to not fear, because the moment we fear, that's when we take a step back. Yeah. You must say, you know what? I will do this, and I can do it. You must have that confidence. That you must have that security to say, you know what? I can achieve it because remember, once you can dream of it, you can achieve it. And that's what I've been doing. I've, the meaning of success for me is, am I happy with it? Actually, it's been a rediscovery. And the same thing I tell women out there at this time, I truly encourage you to rediscover yourself. Remember, beauty, confidence, that comes from within. Mm -hmm. And never ever let anyone bring you down because we spoke about the comments out there. Yeah. What are we hearing? Yes, we've heard negativity, but will we allow that to continue? Remember, it will only crush you down until you allow it to continue. Of course. Yes. Mm -hmm. and What's that? Mm -hmm. Acceptance. You need to be able to accept who you are and how God made you. And you can't allow anyone to bring you down and you can't compare yourself to others. I've learned so much from these beautiful women sitting next to me and I just allow, I allow that to just push me to be a better version of myself. Mm -hmm. You need to take the, take the step, take that step and find the courage to change something that you don't like. If, if you want to be fitter, um, if you want to be more fit, you need to dedicate yourself to a mm -hmm. healthy lifestyle you determine your own fate. So you need to trust the process and trust yourself and believe in yourself to move forward and be happy. Beautiful. Mm. First and foremost, I put God in everything I do. Before I walk on a stage, before I confront anybody or do anything, I ask the Lord for guidance and protection. And that is where my number one strength and confidence come from. The second thing is that you need to have people in your corners that really yeah. believes in you. Mm -hmm. I surround myself with close friends that I classify family, and I, I surround myself too with family. My family is my number one support. My mom, my dad, my siblings, my aunts, everyone is there for me. And to know that you have support, you will immediately portray confidence and strength and guidance. And the third thing that I do, I believe in myself. Yes, you would question things, um, can I really do it? But then because of the strength and guidance I get from the Lord, and because of the strength and guidance I get from my family, mm -hmm. I can tell myself I can do it and I will do it. And that is how I reach this far in everything I do. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. Just go ahead. Yeah. The fact for me that 
I've had a lot of losses in my life, and thus far, <coughs> I've made it here. It's like, okay, what I do, I made a pact with God a long time ago, and I told God, it doesn't matter what I do in my life, thank you for forgiving me. But if you just wake me up, whatever you want me to do or whatever I believe I can do, I'm going for it. Most people in Belize, everywhere on a whole, before they leave their house, they look in a mirror. I love the mirror. I love the camera. Everybody knows that. But before I leave my house, I take a look in the mirror and I just mentally remind myself, while tomorrow is a new day to start over, let today count. So when I wake up, whatever I do for the day, I make it count. And if you live your life that way, every day is a new day, but you start with the present. Don't worry about whatever happened in your past. I, I, you know, I'm so glad that we shared all of these messages because yeah. they're all so important. And we all, I mean, I don't know if men need it too, but we all as women <laughs> need to hear the very same thing sometimes because we do all have insecurities. Yes. It is important to have a belief in yourself and a good support system. Yes. And that support system is most important when you put yourself forward as a public figure and you see all the malicious people out there who, yes, I finally have an opportunity to cut them down. I call them computer cowards. That's what yeah. I call them. Because they don't she do does. anything. She does. They don't, they don't do anything. They're just computer cowards. But tell me, you know, there's a difference between someone who says she needs to work on her walk or she needs to perhaps work on this, the constructive criticism. But there are many people out there who are just deliberately malicious. You can't walk. Her, how do yeah. you, how do you, overcome that it's hard and i know i wouldn't want to hear any of you say it's easy to just brush it off as human beings it hurts it's because the intention that they have behind it is not to help you what do you do so what do i do oh. firstly the minute i start to feel like i have fear i pray just to get a sense of calmness yeah. and then what i do instead of focusing on the negatives and my flaws I try to find out what are my strengths? Yeah. How can I bring that across? I know that one of my strengths is my smile. So I will walk around confidently and I will smile. And I think it's what we need to do is to, if we have a goal, we need to focus on the journey that it takes to the goal instead of the outside noise. It's just noise, it plays no role. At the end of the day, you control how you go about approaching your goal mm -hmm and how you could overcome everything. So that's important. Yeah. I realized my work a long time ago. <laughs> and mm. people used to bring me down, tell, tell me I'm ugly. And I know myself as a beautiful woman. So I honestly ignore people. And when I feel hurt by the comments, my mother is my best friend. I will speak to her and let her know, mom, this is how I'm feeling. And she'll, she'll also um, notify me about my work as well so to all the negative comments out there it's it's just rude and people aren't as confident as me to be up face and front it is really hard so yeah. I do not pay keen attention to negativity okay yes I myself have experienced many comments the minute we become role models we must realize okay the big test will come and Part of it will be people would certainly attack you. Yeah. And the way I've overcome it is basically to me, it's been a strength. It's made me stronger to believe in myself. But again, confidence plays a big role. If you know who you are, then none of these comments shall break you down. And, but yes, there have been uh, situations in which those comments I've taken as advice and I've implemented them to become a better person, which I do appreciate. However, I have not really responded to any of those negative comments because I have received many on social media. Mm -hmm. I've just said, Lord, forgive them. Or I say, you know, I know why I'm doing this. It's for a goal. It's for my people. Mm -hmm. That's right. That's right. Nice. Anyone else has any perspective? Ashley does. Let's go over here first. Yeah. In regards to the negative and the malicious comments, not the comments that you could use as motivation, I'll be honest, it does break you down. It, you do cry. You do feel probably a bit less of yourself or unsure, and then you need to try to reassure yourself all over again. And yes, God does have something to do with that by praying and you know, just bringing that sense of calmness like Janelle stated. But 
one of the things that I noticed that to just brush it off, it takes time, yes, but you need to just remember that today is another day. You have your goals, you have certain things that you want to achieve in life. So you need to just look forward and just continue on that path. Just ignore it. I know it's hard to ignore it, but you need to just reassure yourself. And what I tell myself is, this is what I'm here to do. This is what I want to get out of my life. This is what I want to accomplish. If I pay attention to negative comments every minute, it will just bring myself down. I'll go into depression, and that is something hard to come out of. So you just need to reassure yourself and remember what you want to do, what you want to accomplish, and don't let anybody come and interfere with that. And then you will realize, because sometimes I realize like, oh wow, I remember this person stated something bad about me, but look how far have I come because I ignore it yeah. and because I decide to move forward. And then you just, it just becomes easier yeah. moving forward in life. You learn how to deal with it and you learn how to just be a better person for you but accepting yourself yeah. and ignore the comments and just move forward and remember what you want to do and what you want to accomplish. Right. Okay. So being that there will be criticism, we enter this pageant knowing that we will be in the public eye and we will have other people judging us. So for me, I put in a state of mind that only God is the true judge of me. So. I don't let it deter me because everyone has someone they are supporting on the stage. So in order for them, the person they want to win or something like that, um, they will try to deter you to bring you down so that you can feel less of yourself, yeah. more just, you know, to bring up the person they wish to win. Yeah. So I would just like to let all the girls know that we are in a competition and there will be only one winner. So there will be people trying to bring us down so that we can feel that, oh, this one is better than us or the other one is better. I just want all of us to know that we are all winners because if you don't win, you are still learning from this competition. Yeah. Beautiful, beautiful. And how exciting is it that the pageant is so close? Yeah. Next hey. week, Saturday. Next week Saturday. Mm -hmm. Have we perfected the dance? Yes. 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 Who's the so best good. dancer in the group? We all are. No. <laughs> yeah. I like that answer. The choreographer is the best dancer. Uh, okay, so now I want the scoop. I want the uh, what's it like preparing for the pageant? What parts you're looking forward to? What are we going to be wowed about when we go to the Biltmore yeah. and watch you ladies? Tell me. Let's get it. Well, you did mention the dance. I think that's the first thing people are looking at. Uh, you get to see all of us probably showcase a little bit about ourselves, uh -huh. who has personality, who can dance, as mm -hmm. you said. But again, all of us are dancers <laughs> by this time. <laughs> um, also, the evening gown wow. being the case that each one of us will be showcasing something different. Mm -hmm. yeah. Because swimsuit, probably all of us will be using the same dresses, but that's the one that we look for. That's the all moment for yeah. me. <laughs> yes. All right. And over this side? Well, all of us, as you can see, are very unique and has different personalities. And I, be I believe all of our personalities will shine on that stage that night. And we have a lot of surprises for you that night. So really? make sure you make it. <laughs> um, that the night of the pageant, we will not only be showcasing beauty, as you can see, mm -hmm. but also we'll be showcasing talent and intelligence. When it comes to the question and answer segment, you'll see just how quick we can think. Because I'll let you know that we are not getting those questions. <laughs> we'll need to make, that, make up our answer yeah. right there and then. So beauty and intelligence will be on that stage at that night. So come on out, get your ticket at any of the <laughs> pink boutiques. Lush Spa, and I'm forgetting the Biltmore. Yeah. Oh. Biltmore, yes. So make your way there. Wait, but you touched on my favorite topic there, uh -huh. the question and answer, right? Because there's so many classic moments from many pageants across the world where I'm sure very intelligent women become overcome by nerves and just don't say what they really want to say. Mm -hmm. You know, somebody who speaks publicly, regularly, it happens. You just, your mind works faster than your m mouth is able to keep up. But, how do you prepare yourself? How do you get yourself in a zone where anything they throw at me, 
with all the nerves and shaking hands and crowd in front yeah. of me and, and, and intensity of the moment that I'll be able to handle it. Okay, I would say it takes a lot of practice in front of the mirror to me. That's one thing. No, mm -hmm. your posture, how you're speaking, how you're smiling. But again, educating yourself, a lot of reading. We must realize that we're representing our country, its people. Mm -hmm. And also educating yourself about worldwide issues. It's yeah. not only about us. Mm -hmm. We don't know the question yet, but we must be familiar with any topic that they throw at us yeah. and for myself I would say it has I've taken on public speaking as mm -hmm. one of my main hobbies right now yeah. in order to prepare for question and answer yeah. and believing in yourself having a lot of faith you said yes the nerves can probably overcome you mm -hmm. during that time but you must just keep calm believe in yourself excellent well I had an issue with it because I've always tried to do everything very pageant like you know mm -hmm. walk pageant -y, answer a question really pageant e <laughs> <laughs> but you know i realized that i just need to trust myself yeah. and actually express how i truly feel about the matter yeah. and i just need to read up on everything and just practice 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 be be ready for any question and um, think outside the box you know it's not always political questions or world issues it's sometimes questions about yourself so just be prepared to form a genuine opinion and mm -hmm. I believe authenticity is very very important so just be prepared to show who I am in this segment mm -hmm. all right mm -hmm. excellent mm -hmm. anybody excellent. else mm -hmm. yes yes so when it, this is new to me. Public speaking is new to me. And like everyone said, it's about practice. Mm -hmm. And also about who you surround yourself with. My friends have been drilling me. They are hard. Um, <laughs> it's, it's, been, it's been hard, but I appreciate it because it, it then, what it does is to, to I'm sorry, what it does is to, put me in a mind frame that mm -hmm. when I'm on stage, mm -hmm. when I'm on stage, I will know that whatever they ask me, I am confident, I am ready to answer, yeah. and I don't overthink. Mm -hmm. yeah. So it's really about practice. And in order to be passionate, to passionately speak about something, you must know what you're speaking about. So you need to educate yourself. Definitely, mm -hmm. definitely. Anybody else? OK, to add to what all the um, other girls mentioned, that is very important. Also, I believe when we were practicing, um, I practiced with Romeo last night with the question and answer, just um, a way of adding your personality mm -hmm. to the question. So I think that is very important. Practice in, the mirror, practice in the mirror, yes. Educating yourself, yes. But you need to know how to add your personality and make it about, make it personal mm -hmm. when you answer the question. Mm -hmm. So in case they ask you something about Russia or Australia, I, I'm, I'll be honest, I don't really follow up with. <laughs> <laughs> you will be able to answer on the referendum, yes. I hope, right? Mm -hmm. yes. yes. But in Belize, yeah, you keep up with your current events, watch your news, but also remember just to add your personality to it because I think that's what they're looking for as well. Mm -hmm. mm. All right, excellent. Okay. One more. Go ahead. Oh. Um, well, for this budget, I don't have a trainer, to be honest. My mother is my trainer. And she has been very strict with me and very motivating. And she's helping me a lot to help me like um, speak more better, louder, um, choice of words. Um, I read the dictionary. She, help, she makes me read the dictionary at night. <laughs> 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 um, even though I'm lazy, I come from work tired. She gives me a lot of books to read. And that really helps me. And sometimes I'm a, very, I'm a very spiritual person. So sometimes I read some Psalms too to help me feel you know, calm or relaxed yeah. and like peace in my mind. Not to worry because sometimes this project, to be honest, is stressful. So of course, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, that's my method of um, preparing for this question and answers um, section. OK. All right. So we're all going on stage next Saturday. Uh, of course, as you pointed out, it is going to, the tickets are on sale at Pink, at Biltmore, and Lush. Spa. And uh, I know there is limited seating, uh, so you probably should get your tickets early. <laughs> you can't decide Saturday morning because they may be sold out, right? No, definitely. Um, these girls are bringing their support systems, and they're the rest of the pageant lovers in Belize who will want to be there as well. 
and there's nothing like being there in person. You know, John has a very coveted role this morning, being uh, the man amongst you all. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but we do encourage you to come out and show your support. Mm -hmm. Ladies, thank you so much for coming in. Thank we you. appreciate you. Excellent. We Excellent. appreciate your hard work and we appreciate your honesty this morning as well. Best of luck in your final week. Is there any opportunity where people will get to see you or interact with you like a, a public, yeah. Before the pageant. Yeah. This Saturday, we will be at the Pink Boutique for a meet and greet. So the public can come out, meet us. You can check out the items at Pink. You mm -hmm. can purchase your Pink at Pink Boutique in Belize City or any of their other outlets. Mm -hmm. But if you just want a chance to, if you're not already supporting a contestant and you want to get to know us individually, we're open-minded. We're open to you asking us questions so that you get insight to who we are so that you know, um, all right then, well, I like this person. I love her as a person. I love her as a contestant. Yeah. But, but I need to hear what this one or that one has to say on this before I can make up my mind who I want to be at the yeah. Biltmore supporting August 25th. Mm -hmm. yeah. So just come on out, meet us. That's We're Pink Belize City. Pink yes, Belize City, yeah. Pink Belize City. Belize City. We'll be there Saturday. So come and get your tickets. Awesome. Come and check out your items. And come and see all beautiful delegates. All, all right. 11 of us should be there. All right, I'll tell, you, I'll tell you before, because one of the things I want to know is what time. But the support is tremendous. And, it, and one of the things people should understand is that this is not only a pageant for whom, we're actually picking somebody to represent yes. our country. Yes. And speaking of representation, because Belize was so much into it, our Belizean women went, uh, beat Guatemala, we beat Costa Rica, That's simply right. because of support. <laughs> yeah. Now, where, uh, what time at Pink so we could go on out and support? It's going to be at 10 a.m. Yeah. It's yes. going to be at 10? Yes, sir. Good. Yeah. So there we go. I know where to meet you guys now. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> All your fans will be there. But I do, you know, and, I, and I'm gonna, we're going to close off and, and do an individual introduction again because we want Belizeans to know their Beautiful. faces. Mm -hmm. And we want people to uh, start to follow and support uh, their favorite uh, uh, delegate as well. I do want to say um, best of luck Thank and uh, keep on representing us well. We really look forward to a great pageant. Of course, uh, let's start on this end this time. Mm -hmm. We have uh, Ashley Reed, we have Janelle Frazier, Selena Urias, mm -hmm. Chrislyn Castillo, Jessica Flores. On the end over there, we have Shante Morgan. Mm -hmm. We have, on the end, let's get, yeah, okay. There Shante you Morgan. We have Kia Pastor. We have Nicole Hamilton. We have Alicia Bennett. And Banner, Banner I'm sorry. <laughs> and I was mixing up both your last names. And Kelsey, Kelsey Tillett. 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 Yes. All right, and we do have Kayla Awe, who's from Corzal. She's not with us this morning, but you'll be able to meet her at Pink. So All that's right. it for us. Thank you once again. The next time you see one of these faces, it will be the official Miss Universe Belize after the pageant. So uh, best of luck. Don't miss it. It takes place next Saturday. We'll take a break, and when we come back, we're going to be talking to representatives of Digicel about their upcoming promotion. So stay tuned.